Today, I'm making your slime ideas a reality. Every week, you guys send us a ton of fan mail, and some of you guys have some really good slime ideas. You know the drill, let's get into it. But first, <gasps> you guys hit the like goal in the tiny hands video, which means I have to do this entire video in a chicken costume. Let's get started. So for the first slime, we have Noah's idea, and this one's called Summer Break. Noah wants us to do a cloud dough texture, and it's gonna be a sky blue color. So we got our sky blue dye, so let's add it to our slime and give that a good mix. I love that the name of this slime is Summer Break. And you know, summer's almost coming to an end. So I'm glad that you guys gave me this idea. And I'm trying to make as many summer slimes as I can before summer ends. beautiful blue color. I added just the perfect amount. I also have some really great summer themed charms. We got some fish bones, blues, some clams, some stars. Let's add it to our container and then decorate it. I'm gonna give it a good swirl to make it look kind of like waves a little bit. Now add our sprinkle mix. The sprinkle mix really gives me mermaid vibes. Now I have the perfect clay topper for this. A dolphin! This dolphin is so cute. Look at the rainbow wave and all the little shiny details on his body. And Noah wanted us to add a dolphin, so I'd say this is spot on, but it needs one more detail. I'm gonna add a really cute eyelash because this is a pretty girl dolphin. Let's add an eyebrow too. She needs some nice thick brows. All right, let's add our beautiful dolphin on our slime. This slime is so cute, guys. I think it has every detail and more. Like, look at that rainbow. Yeah, I hope you like it. No <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> I hope you like it, Noah. <laughs> That's one slime down. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we got Reagan's idea, and this is Peachy's Panda with the drip. Well, I got the perfect materials for this one. This is gonna be a two-part slime, so we're doing a light pink bingzu and a light blue cloud dough. So first, we're gonna get half a cup of bingzu out and dye that pink, and the top half is gonna be some light blue cloud dough. All right, let's dye our bingzu slime a light pink, just a little bit. Let's give that a good mix. Reagan, I love this idea because I love pandas. When I was little, the first time I ever went to a zoo, I have a vivid memory of seeing a panda and taking a picture of it. I still have that picture and it makes me so happy. So thank you for giving me this idea. All right, so we got our pink. Let's move on to the blue. This one's also gonna be a light blue, so I'm just gonna add very little. A dot will go a long way. And Reagan, I'm glad you chose Bingzu with cloud dough because I love how it feels when you mix both of those textures together. It feels really crunchy, but soft at the same time. I think that's a nice shade of blue. Since this is a two-part slime, we're first gonna put the bingzu at the bottom and then top it off with the cloud dough. Let's give that a good swirl. And then since this is Peachy's Panda with the drip, I got two large diamond charms. For the sprinkle mix, Reagan wanted me to do blue and pink charms. So I went for our brightest pink and blue sprinkles and mixed them together with the leaves. And I'd say that's a really cute panda themed sprinkle mix. Let's top off our slime. I'm gonna add both diamonds. And then I got a surprise for you, Reagan, a clay panda. This panda definitely has some drip. I mean, he has a diamond at the end of his bamboo stick, a whole crown on the top of his head. I'd say he looks really drippy, but he needs some makeup, just some blush to make him a little cuter. I'm gonna do like little rosy hearts. Look at that, that's so cute. There we have it, Reagan, your very own Peachy's Panda with the drip. Squish him on there. Now that is one dripped out panda, but oh, what is that? He sounds a little hungry. He needs to go to peachybabies.com and get himself some panda candy. Panda candy is such a unique slime. And just like this one, you can get many more different slimes every week. We restock every Friday at 7 p.m., so don't miss it. This next slime is by Clive. Clive wants us to do a three-part clear slime with some star charms and some cat ears. Let's get into it. I'm gonna grab my clear slime and separate it into three chunks. Now, it seems like one is violet, then dark, dark blue and then like a dark purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and use both of these colors. We got our violet and our royal blue. And I'm just gonna add a little bit for this violet. So dot, some dark blue, and then a little bit more for the dark purple. All right, let's mix. I love that the idea of the slime is a jelly cat. Also, it's a jelly cube. So after we mix, we gotta add our nice little jelly cubes. 
I'm done mixing. So now let's add some of our jelly cubes on each one. And now let's mix them into our slime. Also, Clive, you're really clever. I like that it's a jelly cube slime themed after a jelly cat. It's such a good idea. We love a good jelly cube slime. They make amazing squishy pops, great ASMR. I love the way that they look inside of the slime. All right, our light purple is done. Let's mix our blue. And now let's mix our dark purple. All right guys, they're all mixed. Let's add them to our container. So the bottom has dark purple. So we're gonna place our dark purple. The middle has dark blue. Ooh, it kind of has that ombre effect. And then we're gonna top it off with our violet. And then Clive wants us to do some star charms. So I have a variety of colors here. I got some yellow stars, some blue, and some pink stars, along with some mini sprinkles. Let's add them to our slime. Super cute. I think the colors really makes our slime pop. But now we have to add some clay ears that I made. This is not a jelly cat slime without some nice little cat ears. Guys, this slime is so cute, but Clive wants us to add a top hat. I'll be right back. There we have it, Clive. I love like the tiny little top hat in the middle. There is your jelly cat slime. I love the colors. And now let's move on to the next one. This next slime idea is by Ava, and she wants us to make a memory dough and thick and glossy slime that is themed after crystal flowers. I got our memory dough and our thick and glossy here, and it seems like she's going for a blue and like pink vibe. So I'm gonna go for some nice summer colors, and I went for all of the neon dyes that we have. Also, the sprinkle mix has those exact vibes going on here with some little diamonds as well. I think what I'm gonna do for this one is separate our slime into three, one thick and glossy, one memory dough, and then one with thick and glossy and memory dough together. See what happens. It seems like her design is kind of like this abstract work of art. I don't really know if it's a swirl or like a layered effect. So I'm just gonna go crazy with it and just kind of explore. I'm gonna add some neon bright blue to our thick and glossy. All right, I'm gonna give that a good mix. I think today we have a nice variety of summer themed slimes, but this one's gonna have some crystals. And I'm actually gonna use a mold for those crystals and then also do some painting. All right, we got our blue. Now let's add our neon bright pink. Guys, this chicken costume is getting a little warm. It's making me feel kind of like I'm sitting in a blanket. Maybe I'll need a nap after all this slime making. Bright pink is done. And now for the memory butter, we're gonna add neon bright orange. Guys, this is looking like a summer sorbet. Before we mix the slimes together, we gotta make our crystals. We have two different molds, and I already made the first one. Check this out. We got a nice pink crystal. What she drew here was a pink crystal and an orange crystal. So I'm gonna use this mold right here to make the orange crystal. I'm gonna roll my clay into a little ball, and then put it in our mold and hope that it makes a nice crystal. Pat it in there. All right, let's take it out and hope that it looks good. Let's see if it's a good crystal. You ready? <laughs> this is a hard mold to work with. Oh, okay. All right, Christian's here. I'm gonna see if he can make a better crystal than me. You use a piece of clay to pull it out. You oh, clay hacks. Kind of an insider secret. There we go. Oh, wow, that's a good crystal. Yay, Christian saved the day. Bye, thank you. We're gonna use his crystal instead. It just looks way better. I also wanna paint it because it needs to be orange. All right, so for this one, I'm just gonna start kind of giving that ombre effect and go from like the bottom to the top with some orange paint. And then I kind of want to leave the top looking so that it kind of looks more realistic, like real crystals. So there we have it, our pink and our orange crystal. But I have noticed that the clay artists here use water and glitter. So I'm gonna try that because I want them to really look like crystals. All right, so first we're gonna spray our crystals with some water. And then I'm gonna put some glitter on it. The pink one's done, so let's do the orange. Our crystals are done, now let's assemble our slime. Since Ava went for kind of like an abstract design, I'm gonna grab a little bit of each, smush them together, give it a swirl, and this will be the bottom half of our slime. That looks super fun. And now for the top, I'm also gonna get all three, but kind of make it into a little ball. So I'm gonna add some pink, 
some orange, and some blue. There it is, and now I'm gonna add our little sprinkle mix. I love the colors, it honestly really looks like one of those rainbow sorbets. Finally, let's add our crystals. We're gonna add the pink right here, and the orange. There you go, Ava, your very own crystal flowers slime. I hope you like it, and now let's move on to the last and final slime. This last slime is by Lucia, and she went for a marine life slime. I love this idea, and it even has a little palm tree. By the way, it looks like she didn't give us a texture, so she gave me creative freedom, and you know what I went with? Blown. For her slime, she went for different shades of blue. So I'm gonna dye the majority of our slime with this neon bright blue, and then I wanna give it some nice little green speckles here and there. So let's start off with the blue. We're gonna have some real bright water, just like the Pacific Ocean. And I wanna separate this slime into two parts because I also wanna have like a darker blue and a lighter blue. One for the deep sea and one for the shallows. Sloam really reminds me of bubbles in the ocean, so I think it's the perfect texture for this one. All right, there is our light blue. Now let's mix our dark blue. looks good and now let's do our green slime but first I'm gonna wash my hands in the ocean there's all sorts of plants so we have to add some green in there so now we have two shades of blue and our green so I'm gonna assemble it in our container and kind of give it like a wavy effect I'm gonna roll out the blue then roll out our light blue I want to do kind of like a twist and then I'm gonna add some little green speckles. A little bit here. All right, I love how this color scheme looks. It definitely has aquatic vibes. And now let's put it in our container and then add our charms. I love it. The bright blues and the green, it really stands out. For this slime, I went to Charmville and I found every single ocean themed charm that we have in our warehouse. So let's make it rain with some sprinkles. All right, we're gonna add all of our little ocean friends around in a circle. We're gonna set this guy right here. And one last surprise, a clay octopus. Look at his little face. He has like a tiny little smile. He's like super detailed and he's gonna be right on the center, right here, protecting all of his ocean friends. Honestly, this is one of my favorite slimes I've ever made. It's super bright and colorful, has awesome charms and awesome clay. It has an amazing theme. So I hope you like your slime, Lucia. These are all the slimes that we made today. They're all super unique and I really love them. So keep sending us fan mail and make sure to leave a comment down below giving me a new idea because I will include it in the next video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week.